Char Kuei Tiao, literally, stir fried rice cake strips, is a popular noodle dish in Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and Indonesia. The dish is considered a national favorite in Malaysia and Singapore. It is made from flat rice noodles Chinese, hei fen pinyin, hei fen, Cantonese yale, ho fan or kuei tiao Chinese, guo tiao pinyin, guo tiao, Cantonese yale, guo tiu of approximately 1 cm or in the north of Malaysia about 0.5 cm in width, stir-fried over very high heat with light and dark soy sauce, chili, a small quantity of balachan, whole prawns, de-shelled blood cockles, bean sprouts and chopped Chinese chives. The dish is commonly stir-fried with egg, slices of Chinese sausage, fish cake, bean sprouts, and less commonly with other ingredients. Char Kuei Tiao is traditionally stir-fried in pork fat, with crisp croutons of pork lard. In Penang, Char Kuei Tiao is commonly served on a piece of banana leaf on a plate, so as to enhance the aroma on the noodles. Char Kuei Tiao has a reputation of being unhealthy due to its high saturated fat content. However, when the dish was first invented, it was mainly served to laborers. The high fat content and low cost of the dish made it attractive to these people as it was a cheap source of energy and nutrients. When the dish was first served, it was often sold by fishermen, farmers and cockle gatherers who doubled as char kuei tiao hawkers in the evening to supplement their income. History and etymology The term, char kuei tiao, is a transliteration of the Chinese characters chao guo tiao in simplified Chinese chao guo tiao. The dish's name is Hokkien, but the dish may have its roots in Chaozhou in China's Guangdong province and is mostly associated with the Teochew. The word koa tiao, literally meaning rice cake strips, generally refers to flat rice noodles, which are the usual ingredient in West Malaysia and Singapore. In East Malaysia, on the other hand, actual sliced rice cake strips are used to make this dish. In popular transliterations, there is no fixed way of spelling cha koa tiao, and many variants can be found, e.g., char kuei tiao, char kuei tiao, char koe tiao, char kuei tiao, etc. Owing to the dish's popularity and spread to Cantonese speaking areas, the term char kuei tiao has been corrupted into chao gui diao cantonese yale chao gui dio pinyin chao gui diao the term gui diao has no real meaning but its pronunciation in cantonese and mandarin is similar to guo tiao in min nan in hong kong char kuei tiao is often known as penang char kuei tiao bin sheung chao guo tiao or bin sheung chao gui diao Variations As the dish has become increasingly popular, many cooks have come up with their own interpretations of the same basic main ingredient of rice cake strips, flat rice noodles fried with anything from eggs chicken or duck, onions, garlic, prawns, cockles, Chinese sausage, chives, etc. In the past, it was usual to stir fry char kuei tiao in pork fat without eggs which were, however, available on request. More recently, ordinary cooking oil is commonly used for health or religious reasons, and eggs have become a standard ingredient in the dish. Versions of char kuei tiao prepared by Muslims in Malaysia will exclude pork fat and may include extra soy sauces and spices and the use of broader width flat rice noodles. A popular version of char kuei tiao in Malaysia is also known as fried kuei tiao, where it is not as drenched in sauce as much as char kuei tiao is. There are also vegetarian varieties that may or may not include eggs. There are also gourmet versions of char kuei tiao, commonly found in Ipoh and Penang, where the dish may be prepared with more seafood, with crab meat and with duck eggs. Char kuei tiao is also popular at takeaways in Australia and New Zealand. In Myanmar, a variety called the beak cut kyae kike the beak scissor cut exists. It is popular in the southern coastal regions around the town of Maik. Bake is the Burmese pronunciation and in Yangon, the largest city in the country. It uses more pepper and seafood compared to the kuei tiao of Singapore and Malaysia. The rice noodles are slightly thinner and are stir-fried with boiled yellow peas, bean sprouts, squid and prawns, spring onions and dark sweet soy sauce. 
After being stir-fried, the noodles are cut with scissors cut kyae in Burmese, thus its name. In many Asian fusion restaurants in America, such as the popular Café Asia chain, this dish is offered under the name Gui Tiao. Many Southeast Asian restaurants in Hong Kong offer char kui tiao as a Malay speciality although it is of Southeast Asian Chinese origin. The char kui tiao served in Hong Kong is an entirely different dish, stir-fried Chinese-style flat rice noodles with prawns, char shao, onions, and bean sprouts, seasoned with curry and bright yellow in color. In some places this is known as fried good dale, a transliteration of the characters chow gui diao. In Indonesia, there is a similar dish known as kwetiao goreng Indonesian, fried flat rice noodles and is served in Chinese restaurants, street-side tent warung, and by traveling street hawkers carts. This Indonesian version tastes mildly sweet with generous addition of ketchup manis sweet soy sauce, has spicier and stronger flavor with addition of sambal condiment, less oily, mostly halal which means uses no lard or pork, and normally incorporates beef or chicken to cater to the majority Indonesian Muslim population. However, some Chinese restaurants in Indonesia that mainly serve non-Muslim customers might use pork and pork fat. In Vietnamese cuisine, a similar stir-fried noodle dish is called hu tiu zao. Thai cuisine has its own version called fat cio. In Singapore, the char kui tiao is sometimes referred to as or kui tiao or meaning dark in Hokkien and is a popular, inexpensive dish usually eaten for breakfast and sold at food stalls in Singapore. Some of best old school char kui tiao can be found in hawker centers. There are also healthier versions with more vegetables and less oil. Furthermore, the greens and bean sprouts give off a fresh, crunchy texture that makes the dish stand out even more from other dishes of the cuisine. There is also an incorporation of seafood like prawns, cuttlefish, squid, lobster meat. This version is also common in Perth, Western Australia, which has a large expatriate Singaporean population. See also Beef chow fun Chinese noodles Rice noodles Shaha fen <laughs>